exactly right. Senator Graham, thank you for putting this together. Thank you for your leadership. Um, one of the things that you touched on at the very beginning is that Democrats say we have no solutions. I guarantee you, if you take a look at this group up here, we have put forth solution after solution after solution. I mean, you look at HR2 and what you're trying to move here in the Senate. You look at the work you've done. Guys, I would have never seen the border firsthand if this woman didn't know that I needed to see it immediately upon entering the United States Senate. I followed up with a trip with John Cornyn because they care. These people down there, Senator Blackburn would talk to them. She knew them. We walked through and we got to hear women tell us their story. And their stories are brutalizing. And to Senator Cruz's point, if you're not telling it, that's on you. Because when a woman sits there and she tells you not just about being raped, but how many times a day she's raped. When she tells you about having to lay in that bed while they come in and out and in and out, it's disgusting and it's despicable. Folks, you look at the number of people that have died at the border because Joe Biden has made it more and more enticing to come here. Make no mistake, this is a result of failed policies. We could fix this. We can't throw money at this and fix it. We have to actually change the policies. I looked in the eyes of CBP agents who said we're exhausted. We're not only having to be paper pushers, we're also trying to do what we did, what we took an oath of office to do, and that is protect this border. But when they tell you about finding small children who have drowned in that river or pulling a lifeless body of a woman who is pregnant with twins, it changes the way you think about what's happening. Drug cartels, guys, they have their tentacles all over this country. We need you to start telling that story. To Senator Cruz's point, they will tell you exactly how much they paid to get here. Then they'll tell you where they're going, what their job's going to be, and how much more they owe. Got it? And guess what? Just the other day in Alabama, a gentleman told me, if you will come back here with me in this neighborhood right behind you, you will see migrants who are here illegally, and they will tell you about the drug cartels coming around every other week to collect. Guys, that's not the American dream. That's an American nightmare. We know what policies work. President Trump had secured the border. We know what to do. We just have to have a leader who has the courage to do it. And I am so sick of Joe Biden lecturing us about the soul of America. Let me tell you, he needs to have the heart to actually listen to people. He needs to have the compassion to, to actually hear those stories, um, the willingness to work with people. And Joe Biden needs the courage to take decisive action. We are standing here ready to do this. And what he put forth in that supplemental is an absolute joke. It will only facilitate this crisis more and more every day. By the end of his tenure, we will have over 10 million people here, which would make that, by the way, if you put everybody in one place, the, what, 11th largest state in the United States of America. Folks, this is out of control. We've got to do something. We would not allow this to happen in a third world country. We certainly should not allow it to happen in the United States of America.